Which vitamin deficiency in see in chronic alcoholics? Options are vitamin B12, thiamine, riboflavin, and vitamin A. So if we just discuss about thiamine, now this thiamine is another name of your vitamin B1. Now this vitamin B1, its active form, the active form of this particular vitamin is known as the TPP, that is thiamine pyrophosphate. Thiamine pyrophosphate, right? Now the thiamine basically is a kind of pyrimidine. The sources of this particular vitamin are rice polishing. This is going to be the richest source of the vitamin B1 and the green outer layer, aluron layer actually, which contains vitamin B1. So there is an layer, the outer layer of the grain that is known as the aluron layer that is also uh, very rich in vitamin B1, right? Now, uh, what is the role of this particular vitamin? The actual role of this particular vitamin B1 is oxidative decarboxylation. Oxidative decarboxylation. And there is a marker of vitamin B1 deficiency that is the transketolase. Very important. The marker of vitamin B1 deficiency is your transketolase, marker of B1 deficiency, right? Now, uh, yes, coming to the deficiency of vitamin B1, since we have seen that the marker of B1 deficiency is your uh, transketolase and the deficiency leads to beriberi. There is a condition that is seen in deficiency of vitamin B1, that is thiamine, is very very and this very very is also classified into two forms one is your dry very very and second is your wet very very right now uh, the basic difference between the dry and wet very very is that dry very very specifically affects the CNS. It affects CNS while the wet beriberi affects your CVS and cause edema. Okay, so that is the basic difference between two kinds of beriberi. Okay, so it is not that only dry or wet beriberi can occur. Generally, mixed beriberi occurs. Mixed beriberi generally occurs and affects the individuals, right? So now uh, I should come to a very important point about the vitamin B1 deficiency here that is uh, correlated to this particular question also. In case of alcoholics, severe vitamin B1 deficiency occurs. In case of alcoholics, there is severe B1 deficiency and that leads to a condition that is known as Wernicke-Koskoff psychosis. That is known as Warnick Korskov psychosis. That is very important and has been many times it has been asked in NEET exam. Right now, vitamin B1 deficiency can also lead to lactic acidosis. It leads to vitamin B1 deficiency leads to accumulation of lactic acid, and that is known as the lactic acidosis. So, in thiamine deficiency, pyruvate excess generally occurs and that leads to lactic acid. So, doses, what generally happens actually, there is pyruvate. Now, this pyruvate has to be converted to acetyl coenzyme A, right? And that done, that is done in the presence of vitamin B1 and PDH complex, right? Now, whenever there is deficiency of vitamin B1, see, suppose it is not there, so the exchange is not possible. The pyruvate is not converted to the acetyl coenzyme A and that's why there will be increase in the amount of pyruvate. There will be accumulation of the pyruvate, pyruvate and this excess later converts to the 
lactic acidosis under anaerobic respiration and that's why it can lead to lactic acidosis as well so these are the various aspects of vitamin b1 deficiency or the thymine deficiency now coming back to the question which vitamin deficiency is seen in chronic alcoholics so in chronic alcoholics you'll have thymine deficiency and you get a kind of psychosis that is known as the wernick koskoff psychosis which is a severe case of vitamin b1 deficiency occurring especially in alcoholics so answer to this question is going to be your thymine deficiency or the thymine that is seen in chronic alcoholics right 